So let's do a velocity graph for this situation um, because that's the easiest and then we'll do the position graph based on that. So we're actually dealing with three phases here. Um, and when we actually look at this, uh, we are going, let's actually go back to the beginning of the problem here. Um, so we're going from eight meter, eight seconds to go from zero to five meters per second. So um, let's just right here, um, if we were to go, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. You know what? Um, hopefully this is enough room. If not, we'll have to expand these axes. So this is 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Now, in the first 8 seconds, um, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20. So those are our meters per second velocity ticks. So now we're going to go from 0 to 5 to, to, to five meters per second in 8 seconds. So in 8 seconds we go all the way up to here at a uniform rate. Then what happens? Well, next, in about 1.6 seconds, it seems that we go to um, 10 meters per second. So that's quite um, a drastic shift. So then here we're going to actually end up going pretty quick like that. And then... Um, that's good. And then in about 12 seconds, our speed goes back down to zero, like that. Um, so that's a good velocity versus time graph. That's about the level I'd want to see on an exam. Now, if we do the position versus time graph here, um, let's just try to get it qualitatively. So I'm going to go forward like this, and then I'm going to go, like from here, I'll get, you know what, I'm going to do kind of a flat-ish parabola. And then I'm going to go really steep in my parabola. And then I'm going to end up slowing down like that. So that's sort of the idea. Um, so it's just kind of a flatter parabola. Then we're steeper. Then, um, and you know what I realized? No, I made the classic mistake. This assumes I'm going backwards. I'm actually glad I made this mistake. What's going to actually happen is we're going to level off like this. So this is um, 8 seconds. This is um, about 9.6 seconds. And then this is about 21.6 seconds right here for the stopping. And so we're actually here, we're going forward and actually like slowing down to rest. So um, that's a curve like that. That's velocity versus time and position versus time.